morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured I would share with you guys some uh, hauls that came in. They kind of all came in at the same time. Uh, today is Tuesday. You guys will most likely see this on Thursday, I believe. I don't know. Anyway, um, actually, I can look. It's in my journal. Actually, it's a planner, but you know, hey, whatevs. Uh, yeah, Thursday. So anyway, oh, and I did make a video on how I decorated this, if you are interested. So what I'm going to show you today is a collection of things. The first thing I'm going to show you is from Miss Esme. So this is a Facebook sale um, and it came in today. Yay! Okay, so, um, and you know what? I think I might have missed her sale this past weekend because um, she has sales every Friday and I love the trims that she gets in. They're just so pretty. Um, but I was actually looking for this trim here and she might have gotten it in and I missed the sale. So I'm going to have to go back and see if I can find it. And hopefully I did not miss it because things have been really crazy for us here lately. Um, we, so for those of you who don't know, we have a cat. Uh, her name is Bella and we've had her for almost 15 years. Um, and she's not doing well. She's sick. Uh, she's at the doctor's right now. Uh, Wayne had taken her in this morning and Doc decided to go ahead and keep her overnight for a few days and um, with an IV and hopefully, you know, it will, she will get better, uh, but she's, she's not doing so well. But anyway, that's, that's the biggest reason why I missed Miss Esme's sale on Friday. So, um, I was just like... I hope I can go back and watch it, um, but knowing how her sales are, there's probably none left if she did bring it out. But I absolutely love this trim. This is uh, amazing, and as you can see, I did get a good chunk of this. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my drawer right now. Um, I'm... I was going to say, I don't know if I want to put it in with my trims and laces or if I want to put it in with the appliques because the appliques are typically very chunky. Um, and then the next little bit that I got from this Esme is over there. So I got this. Um, I like the dangle trims as she calls them. She calls them dingles and they're so pretty. And so I got some of that one. And it looks like I got, what did I get? Yeah, I got two yards of this one. Put that with the trim as well. I am running out of space in this drawer. I'm going to need a new drawer, I think. I think what I need to do is just use up my laces instead of hoarding them forever in a day. Anyway, I saw this one and I was like, oh, must have. So uh, I think I ended up with four yards of this one. I think I ended up with four yards of this one. Let's see. No, it must be only three yards. Yeah. Yep. It's three yards of this one. But isn't that pretty? I love this one. So pretty. All right. And then this blue. It's a baby blue. I liked it because it was different. It wasn't just white or cream. Because so many times when you're looking at laces, especially from like um, someone like a supplier uh, in our community, not uh, not an everyday lace supplier, because an everyday lace supplier is going to have a lot more colors but normally the lace suppliers within our community they do a lot of like pastel pink peach cream white uh 
khaki. Uh, Ekru. Ekru is another uh, favorite. Um, but you don't normally see a lot of color. And I like color. <laughs> so, and these are appliques. I got a couple of those. Um, so there's, I literally got a couple. There's only two. Because I want to say these were $7 a piece. Um, so I only got two of them because I'm trying, I'm trying to be more mindful of the spending that I do and not just getting it because it's pretty, but getting it because I know what I want to do with it type of thing. Um, and I think that we all try to do that and it lasts for like 2.5 seconds, <laughs> but hopefully it'll last a little longer than that. So anyway, these are definitely going into the applique drawer. Um, and this one also is very full. All right. So the next one, like I said, that was from Miss Esme. And that is, um, was, is, was, is, uh, a Facebook seller. Um, this one is sealed on this side. This is an Etsy shop. Um, it's actually kind of funny because she's a jewelry maker, but I still bought from her. Um, I did not buy jewelry. She actually came up with this idea and it is under patent. So you can't steal the idea. Not that any of you ladies would do that because you guys are all cool, but she came up with this really cool idea and, um, it finally came. This was the package that was lost in Maryland forever. Um, and it was, um, it is called the Quail Buddy Plus. Um, and it says scheduled to ship by January 6th. But I, let's see, when did I order this? I think I ordered this on the third. Anyway, it just came in today. It got lost. Um, and it's really, really neat. I will play with this uh, another day, but it's really, really cool. Um, I didn't realize it was made out of paper, though. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. It's made out of paper, like cardstock. Now, the coils are really what is what really makes this whole system. It's not the it's not this. This part is it's really neither here nor there. It is helpful to have, but um, I like this box. But anyway, it's uh, it is helpful to have, but it's the um, it's the these part. This is what really makes this system. And like I said, I'll play with it. Um, okay. Um, oh, look at that. Is she even... Oh, candy! I like candy. But there's a... Uh, there's memory wire in here too. I think this is 60 diameter. Yeah, this is 60 diameter. This is thick. Oh my gosh, this is super thick. This is a lot thicker than the one that I use. The one I use is up there, so I'm not going to get it down. But um, So this is 0.8 millimeter, I assume. nice though so anyway um and there's a little card okay complimentary memory wire for bracelets color platinum thickness uh 20 gauge yep yeah i think the um i think the one that i use is a is a 22 gauge i think i'm not sure but anyway there's that and a little lifesaver. There's a gummy in there. 
Okay, so that needs to go up on my beading stuff. I'm actually going to uh, clip this all together real quick. Um, because I don't want to lose it, so I'm just going to clip it all together like that. Okay, so the next one is, well, to kind of go along with that, is beading. So I found these super, super, super cheap beads, and I was like, what? Um, she has, uh, I don't even know how to say the name. They're crystals. They're like really really amazing crystals and i forget like how to say it it's uh it's like s w a swarskis or something like that crystals anyway um she has her own website which she's got a card right there and i'll i'll link all of this stuff for you guys um but she scours the globe to find the best prices to bring to you. And someone said that once and I thought it was funny. Um, okay, so this says uh, thank you by the beads .com. Oh, that's cute. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really pretty. And that's pretty nice too because there's six of them in there okay so the beans that i got were different um i got check glass i love check glass check glass is one of my favorite materials to work with um but i got these more specifically one because they're check glass and i love check glass but two because they're different they're not just the round glass pearl type uh, stones. So there's these guys here. And then we've got the blue. So these are the turquoise colored ones. And then the blue here. Um, we have like a olive colored green here. A dark blue here. I love this. It's like a lavender color. And I like the the way that it the light follows it, you know. And that's like it's a good bit. Like there's two of these actually. Um Okay. So Snowflake glass.com that's not where i went by the beads.com i actually um it's the same lady but i when i found her i found her on um on ebay and i do like the by the beads instead because the shipping is calculated better because on ebay it's really weird when you buy multiple things from the same seller uh, you actually have to request a uh, an invoice, but if you get more than one of an item, it like messes up and it doesn't like send it to you right, or it doesn't allow you to send it, or it's something really weird. Um, so anyway, you'll love my prices. That's what it says right there. You'll love my prices. I agree. I love her prices. Um, so anyway. It's over 4,000 listings of uh, Swarovski crystal, Czech glass, porcelain, and ceramic, and more. And like I said, it's called Buy the Beads. So just look for buythebeads.com. And like I said, I will, I will link all this because this is just going to be a haul video. It's everything that I've, I've hauled um, that came in today. This is really, really cool. It's a mixed bag. Um, also, Czech glass. Chuck Glass and Swarovski are her specialties. That's what she um, gets the most of. But they're just 
It's so, so pretty. Like, I can't wait to play with these. Um, and I, I probably will play with my beads a lot more off camera than on camera because a lot of people have said like, Oh, I love watching you play with your beads, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. But my YouTube analytics said, y'all don't like watching my bead stuff. So that's okay. I can play with those without the camera on. It's okay. Um, I also found these things here, which I thought were really cool and very interesting and different. I just, oh, uh, see, I like stuff like that. It's different. It's not the same old, same old, you know, um, got some spacers. These are also chuck glass and they, it is a grab bag. It's a variety of different spacers. This one I thought was really, really neat. I'm not going to open up any more bags because I have two more sections to go for. And uh, this one is actually not quite as hot pink as it looks. It looks like it's bubblegum pink, but, um, or rather it looks like it's hot pink and it's more of a bubblegum pink than a hot pink. Uh, let's see. This one is somewhere. Oh, also, since I are, I'll tell you at the end, but um, I have some really amazing news for you guys. Um, so here is some, I want, they kind of look like they're bicones, but they're not. But it looks like that shape. And then there is, oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like this color. I just used a whole bunch of those. I love, I love that color. Clear. Clear is awesome. Okay. And then the last little bag I've got here is actually probably the biggest bag I've got here. So we've got, again, some more chuck glass. I love, love, love these beads. So I've got the blue, the silver, and the green and blue. These are smaller. Some shell. Some leaves. Check those leaves out. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Um, and I I have another a uh, couple orders actually coming from Art Beads as well. But some uh, these are actually paws. I don't know if you can see that, but they're paws like bear paws. Um, some flower flowers. These are actually spacer uh, leaves. Some larger flowers. Love this like sea foam minty colored green. I love that. There's the bicones. Uh, this is hematite. Also check glass. This is pre kosia. I have no idea how to say that word, something crystal. Um, but there's that. And then the last one is this one here. And this one's actually kind of cool because you get three different gems in this one, or three different beads in this one. So anyway, that's it for that. Let me grab these boxes. 
box here. I'm gonna grab something to put them all in because they're gonna they're gonna get sorted out and put where they're supposed to be instead of just kind of randomly haphazardly in this box. But for now, they're going in the box. Okay. And there's that. Okay. All right. So I'm actually going to keep these because they're bags and they're bubbles. They're bubble bags. They're bubble bags. Okay. So I feel like I saved the best for last because the, the last thing that I got is from a YouTube seller, sort of. She sells on YouTube, but she does not have like weekly sales. She has quarterly sales. So she only does these particular sales four times a year. That's it. And um, she calls them Stock Your Stash. And her name is Michelle Scott. And she is absolutely amazing, hilarious. Love Michelle. Um, and anyway, I oy, oy, love that girl. She is amazing. And um, so, of course, I was going to go and support her and, you know, buy some of her goodies. Uh, and by some of her goodies, I mean like an entire large flat rate box full of them. Uh, actually, technically, this one's a medium. <laughs> it's just really big. Like, it's as big as me. Alright, so, I don't know why I'm taking the flaps off of this thing. Like, really? Why? Why am I doing that? Okay. So, I got Oh, these are so cool. Okay, so I got uh, quite a few of these packs. Um, oh, one of them was a giveaway. <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, okay, fine. Meh. Anyway, she does coffee dyeing. And um, I don't have any of these. So I've never, I've also never had any of her coffee dyed paper. It smells like coffee. <laughs> um, but this one was a giveaway because there's only four in the pack. Um, the other packs had five in them. That's how she was selling them. And it was five uh, for a dollar, I think is what it said. Yeah. Five for a dollar. So, um, but anyway, I got a bunch of those so I could play with them. So there's that. And, um, you know, in hindsight, I'm really glad that I got her fabrics because I love her fabrics. But uh, these were fab scrap bags. Um, but in hindsight, I did not need any more fabric. <laughs> Girl, I got so much fabric. It is unreal. Unreal. Okay. Insane. Okay. So... This was the actual fabric scrap bags. Okay, so there's that. And this is a huge piece of fabric. So you've got this just solid black on the back of this, right? Which actually is really good because you can use this for a lot of things. Um, it's a nice thicker material. But this is really pretty. I do like that a lot. And I was halfway paying attention when I bought most of these things because as per usual, I was working because that is like the story of my life. Look at that. That is pretty. That is just like screaming, cut me up and use me for snippets, right? Ooh, I just want it. it. Smells good. I don't know what you put in here. Smells good though. Uh, this is really cool. I don't know what this is, but it's really soft and it's quite nice. I like it. All right. Uh, oh, more snippet stuff. That's very loud. More snippet stuff. This is also more snippet stuff, although this is very soft. 
And then the last one is, uh, I know the name of this. It was like cloth canvas, actually. Oh, muslin, muslin. It might be muslin. So there's that. Uh, got a couple of those. They're different. The other one's different. At least I think I got a couple of those. I have no idea. All right. Oh, hey, that's my thing thing. Okay. Okay. So, what are you? Hmm. Okay. So, this is the scrap fabrics that she had. So, towards the end, she was um, putting together these little bags full of, like, these pieces, like this and um they were three dollars and honestly the fact that she charged three dollars for this surprises me because i saw how much work she had to do to put into this uh because these pieces for one were not this this small because she was making them small pieces like this specifically for um like scrappy bags and such and so I was like, girl, that is a lot of work. So, yeah, I definitely snacked those up, snagged those up. Um, and so this one is the pink Chevy, as you can see, very pink. Ooh, that's very cool. Check that out. Blurp, blurp. I like that. And I like how broken everything is. It's really awesome. All right. So this one is a cream machete. Okay. Lego. Lego my ego. Mm. All right. So this one is... Oh, look at that. That is a huge piece. Oh, my God. I think this piece alone is worth $3. Oh my god, this is cool. This is really cool. I love this fabric. I'm going to have to find it. It's awesome. Okay, so there's that. Um, There's that one. Ooh, that's the same as that one, I think. Yep, yep, we're putting you together. Oh, this blue. I love the blue. That's really pretty. Oh, I like that too. Well, that's a really long piece. That's over a yard. Yeah, that's over a yard of this. I like that. And then this one here. And see, stuff like this needs to go into my, not that one. That one's a huge piece. But these guys, these that guys can all go into my little snippet bucket thing over here. It's actually like laces and snippets and such like that. It's just it is all the stuff that is good for snippeting. Is that a thing? Mm. Um, oh girl. She gave me tape anyway. <laughs> Told her I didn't need tape. I have like three rolls of this stuff. And it is very very sticky. It is cray cray. But say, since, look at that, like, but since I got it out, I can, uh, I can definitely make a Lego. Make a thing with it. Hold that. So this one was pink shabby again. And we've got this one. That is really pretty. I like that. And this one. 
And this one. And this one. Robert, can you just call me on your iPhone? No. Hi, I'm recording. And this one. That was my son. And this one. We cut his hair. And by we, I mean me. I cut his hair. And this one. Okay. So, uh, just in case you thought I was done. Wait. Okay. Yeah. We are definitely working with snippets and scraps soon. Okay. This is... <laughs> Don't judge me. Santa. This whole thing was a dollar. So, I got that Santa, and I got that Santa, and I got that Santa, and I got that Santa for a dollar. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're most likely just going to go into my, uh, my Christmas stuff until next year. But I couldn't resist. It was a dollar for Santa. I'm telling you, man, her, her stock your stash sales are no joke. No joke. You need to get in on this action. All right. So the next thing I got was this guy here, Wizard of Oz. So I have not seen Wizard of Oz paper. And I, most likely because I've been hiding under a rock, I don't know, but this is, um, graphic 45 and it comes with the chipboard here and, uh, two pieces of paper, but the paper, they're tickets. So that's why I wanted this one because I can put any paper with it. Um, the ephemeral really makes the journal, the themed journal. And so that's why I got that. And then stick. Uh, oh, I got some of her chipboard that she has cut, um, making journals a little bit easier. And so, and they were, I don't know, very, very inexpensive, like maybe uh, a set for a dollar or three sets for a dollar or something crazy like that. Um, and then these are the last three things that I got. I'll show you this here in a second. These were um, lace bags, and they are not your, like, lace trims, but more, like, um, like curtains and valises and tablecloths and stuff like that. That's what this is. It's stuff that's meant to be cut up and used for clusters and and backgrounds and such like that and that's why i got a bunch of these um just because it, it, they're different than what i have because i've got some i actually have a lot um but like i just caught up one two days ago i think on one of my live streams and um and it's it's very different than any of this but that's just it is it's different like this one's very textured and soft I like this one because it's darker. I do like the darker color. But anyway, I got two of these bags. Um, and they're also nice and pretty and neat. And those will go over there in my lacy bits. Over that. Okay. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, this was like my oh my god are you serious um thing so what did i pay for this four dollars i paid four dollars for this oh and she made sure to tell us that she stuck her finger in every single one to make sure that it was still moist their ink pads from stampin up and i will say from my own personal experience, Stampin' Up! Ink is 
amazing because I bought Stampin' Up! Inc. I don't know, 10 years ago, second hand. And that sucker is still moist. And yeah, like I know that these are wet. I can feel how heavy they are, but I know these are wet. Oh yeah. I just colored me purple. And these, I have not seen these ink, like I haven't seen these. The ones that I have are actually kind of a pain in the butt to open. I hate them. I love the ink. I hate the container. Bloop. Oh, I'm ringing. So anyway, that's actually it. I just wanted to share with you guys all of this. Everything's going to be in the description box for you guys. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys will have a nice, fun shop <coughs> and play. So thank you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.